What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are talking about the five best Inferno Tower compartments in Clash of Clans. Inferno Towers were so important at Town Hall 10, 11, 12, 13, so how do you protect them, and what types of compartments in your base do you want to design to get the most value out of them? That's the topic of today's video. We have some examples to show you today. Starting with this first one, I'm going to get right into the uh, information, guys. This is a great anti-hybrid, anti-miners, anti-hog um, Inferno Tower compartment because what you do is you put a Tesla next to the Inferno within this Inferno Tower island, and these springs are going to almost guaranteed get either the three hogs or the three miners, three of something, uh, coming through uh, the base as a hog or a miner would. And the reason is these are two uh, two by two buildings. One of the problems with spring traps is if they're next to a building like a bomb tower um, and you put a spring next to them, just move one over like this, uh, the miner might go to either side of the spring and, and not hit it. But by putting them in this orientation, um, this can potentially take out six hogs uh, or six miners, some combination and uh, very effective against hybrid. So put it somewhere where the attacker is likely not to do a queen charge and likely to send their hybrid through because obviously with the queen charge you won't get any value from these springs. But if it's an area that's hard to queen charge and likely for the hybrid uh, to come through, great way to stop this uh, very powerful attack right now. Moving on to the next one here guys, um, this is a uh, compartment that I really like because what it does and you can uh, you know put something else in the other corner a builder hut for example uh, among other things to fill that out but what it does is it's also very difficult for uh, miners particularly so it's good against hybrid good against straight up miner attacks because there's a lot of hit points next to that inferno so they're gonna get stuck in that compartment taking out the, uh, the high hit point storages Good thing to do is put a spring, or not a spring, rather, a skeleton trap here to also delay the miners even further. You can see other benefits of this compartment. Um, can't reach from outside this wall, so um, ha you can have that facing the outside of the base um, or another compartment. Also this, the queen cannot reach from behind that wall, so good anti-queen charge, uh, just anti-queen in general. And then over here you have a little bit of dead space between the inferno and the wall which makes it difficult for uh, troops to pass directly into the inferno from that angle um, and also hard for you know bowlers can't reach over the wall so it's, it's a good uh, sized compartment for the inferno tower and those storages are really going to protect well against troops as they move through okay I'm going to pick up these infernos because they're going to need it elsewhere as we move along here I uh, put some placeholders down because uh, I only have two infernos on this town hall 11 unfortunately don't have uh, like seven which I needed anyway um, this next compartment I also like it's nothing too fancy and what we'll see is this is another good type of uh, size compartment the outer one is because anywhere outside uh, this compartment the Queen cannot reach the Inferno and that's always such a big factor is making these compartments with the four tile gap between the inferno and the wall so the queen cannot shoot over the wall to reach the inferno having that throughout your base and doing that for other defenses as well is a good way to kind of stop not just queen charges but any attack because the queen is always a critical part of the damage of the attack even if it's not a queen charge even if she's with the kill squad and like a pekka smash it's still a good rule of thumb you can you know uh, cut off the corners and bring them in a little bit uh, to also prevent maybe wall breakers being used too easily, although the super wall breaker uh, makes it very difficult to stop that nowadays. But uh, the reason we have this inner compartment is it prevents P.E.K.K.A.s, King, and it makes a Yeti bomb more difficult because it's harder to at least get the Yetis themselves to target the Inferno, maybe the Yeti Mites will. Um, but it, it's definitely good against troops that don't have any range and um, if someone does a P.E.K.K.A. smash, their P.E.K.K.A.s might walk all the way around. Another thing this does, and then you can do this with the Town Hall too, just in a bigger style compartment, is it can split the troops. Um, some are going to go, let's say that, uh, these are the troops, some will go this way and some will go that way. Um, it's better if it's a bigger building because it's more of a split, but this does kind of split things up a little bit and makes it more unpredictable as troops pass through this type of compartment. Okay, I'll take my Inferno back and we'll keep it moving here. 
This is a double Inferno style uh, layout. So I would only do this if you're a Town Hall 12 or Town Hall 13 and you have that third Inferno to put elsewhere. Uh, but basically what this does is it has these Infernos kind of protecting each other to some extent. Great place to put the Tornado Trap is near this area, maybe between them. Um, typically you're gonna have another compartment out here or something. This is a great way to make it difficult for someone to queen charge the Inferno because they're kind of, they have each other's backs. And if you're worried about someone kind of having the queen walk along uh, inside that first compartment and take them both out, just put an air defense back here. Um, it'll shoot down any healers as the queen walks past. Um, it's also good to put your queen here um, because uh, she's very well protected. And um, like I said, the place for the tornado trap would be let me see if I can find my tornado trap, uh, big scroll bar, is like somewhere in here among other defenses, and um, that's a great place to put it. But I, I really like this at Town Hall 12 and 13. It, it works well, and the gap between the infernos means you're not gonna have something take them both out at like the same time. Um, just make sure that it's, uh, the compartments continue out so you can't have like a smash type attack with yetis or pekkas, just smash straight through. You want some uncertain pathing going out in either direction. I like how I'm using all these random buildings to kind of act as my cursor. Okay, last one here, and this is something that I gave a huge shout out to. I made a video dedicated to it um, about six videos back in my uploads. It's called the Bait Inferno uh, Technique, and this is right on the outside of your base. Once again, Town Hall 12, Town Hall 13, more than Town Hall 11 or 10 because the Infernos are less of a fraction of your total damage. They're not quite as valuable, you have more of them. Uh, so you can afford to do this and be kind of tricky, is putting it right in that outer layer. And I'm not gonna talk too much about the benefits and exactly how to do it because I made a whole video on it. So check out my uh, bait Inferno technique um, from about a month ago and you can get the details. But essentially this is gonna be a great way to uh, bait certain attacks and also prevent someone from starting a queen charge here or doing any type of really entry here by immediately putting damage on whatever they deploy on this side of the base. Um, it's, there's no way to tank uh, a multi-inferno really. Okay, so I think that covers it all. Thanks for watching guys. Um, a big shout out to my Patreon because um, some of the other Clash experts there uh, gave me some inspiration and, I, and um, we have a channel where we can post some community tips and uh, some of these were inspired or came directly from there. So uh, shout out to everyone on my Patreon who's been helping me with all the tips and stuff. If you want to check it out, uh, the link is always in the description. You get um, different perks, access to the Discord server where you get uh, tips such as these, and also uh, attacking advice, custom war bases, etc., etc. Uh, you may have heard this, this spiel before. But that will do it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bisectatron out.